Hello friends. In this lesson, we're going to talk about transitive and intransitive verbs. And to do that, I'm going to use the help of this guy. This is Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris is an actor. Chuck Norris acts in action movies. Chuck Norris also does martial arts. Chuck Norris was a martial arts champion. Chuck Norris became an action star after he won martial arts competitions. One time, Chuck Norris fought Bruce Lee in the movie The Way of the Dragon. Bruce Lee never fought in a martial arts tournament, but the fight looked amazing. In the movie, Chuck Norris lost the fight to Bruce Lee. However, if they fought in real life, Chuck Norris would have won. Because Chuck Norris is a legend. So what does all this have to do with verbs? Well, in this lesson, we're going to look at the relationship of the verb in a sentence to the other parts of the sentence. For example, the subject and the object in the sentence. So to do this, we describe verbs in three ways. We can have transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, or linking verbs. So a transitive verb has an object or more than one, while an intransitive verb has no object. For example, if you look at the picture on the left, Chuck Norris kicks a guy. So in this picture and sentence, the verb is kicks. And the subject of kicks is Chuck Norris. So Chuck Norris is the doer of the action. The action is kicks. So the guy is the one receiving the kick. He's the receiver of the action. So Chuck Norris, the one doing it, kicks the guy. So this is what we would call a transitive verb. because there is an object of the verb. If you look at the picture on the right, Chuck Norris kicks. So we have the same subject, the doer of the action, which is Chuck Norris, and we have the same action, or verb, which is kicks. But if you look at the picture, there's no guy. Who is he kicking? What is he kicking? He's kicking nothing. So we just say Chuck Norris kicks, because there's no object. So we call this type of verb intransitive. It is intransitive because no object. So a transitive verb has an object. An intransitive verb has no object. A linking verb, on the other hand, it looks like it has an object, but actually what we call it is a complement. So a complement is something that completes or describes the subject. So we do have something after the verb, but it is not an action verb. So for example, in this sentence, this is Chuck Norris. The subject of this sentence is the word this. The verb is is. Now we have Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris comes after the verb in this sentence but it is not an object because the verb is, is not an action. It is what we call a stative verb. Because it is simply stating something about the subject. So some common linking verbs in English, first of all, are the forms of be. This is the most common linking verb in English. We call it the be verb, but really it is all of these forms put together. So am, is, or are in the present tense, was or were in the past tense, the base form be, the present participle being, or the past participle been. All of these are the be verb, and this is the most common linking verb in English.
However, we do have a number of other common linking verbs. For example, these ones. Become, get, grow, look, sound, smell, taste, feel, seem, and appear. All of these verbs can function as linking verbs in a sentence, which means that the information which comes after the verb is simply describing the subject of the sentence. These are not action verbs when they are working as linking verbs. But you have to be careful because some of these verbs can work either as an action verb or as a linking verb. You just have to see what kind of information the sentence is giving you. For example, if I say Chuck Norris grew a beard, in this sentence, Chuck Norris is the subject. The verb is grew. Now, what kind of information comes after the verb? We have this, a beard, which is talking about the hair on his face. So Chuck Norris grew a beard. The beard is not describing Chuck Norris. It is talking about something Chuck Norris has. So in this sentence, the verb grew is an action verb, which is the past tense of grow. So he grew that hair on his face. So because this is an action verb, this is what we would call a transitive verb or transitive sentence because beard here is the object. However, if I said Chuck Norris grew more wise, again, Chuck Norris is the subject and grew is the verb. But if you look at the meaning of the sentence, it doesn't mean quite the same as this one. In this sentence, grew is an action, but when we say Chuck Norris grew more wise, more wise is describing something about Chuck Norris. So here, grew is not an action. It is linking. Because it is linking the subject with what comes after it. So what comes after it here is not an object. It's what we call a complement. Because this information, more wise, is completing the subject or describing the subject. So Chuck Norris grew more wise is basically the same as saying Chuck Norris became more wise. And so both grew in this situation and became are linking verbs. Because this verb is linking the subject, Chuck Norris, to the complement, more wise. So these common linking verbs become, get, grow, look, sound, smell, taste, feel, seem, appear. Of these, grow, get, look, sound, smell, taste, and feel can work both as action verbs and linking verbs. Again, you just have to look at the context of the sentence. What kind of information is the sentence giving you? Is the verb talking about an action that the subject is doing? Or is the verb just linking the information after the verb to the subject? Is it describing the subject somehow? Okay, so in this sentence, Chuck Norris is an actor. What is the verb? It's this is word. And remember, is is one of the be verbs. So the be verb is always a linking verb. Again, any of these forms, if they're being used as the main verb in a sentence, 
They are always linking verbs. So Chuck Norris is an actor. This is a linking verb sentence. Chuck Norris acts in action movies. Now look at that verb, acts. Is that a transitive verb, an intransitive verb, or a linking verb? Our subject again is Chuck Norris. And then we have this information afterwards in action movies. So Chuck Norris is doing the action, and the action is acting. So Chuck Norris acts. But is this action, is it happening to something? Is he acting something? In this sentence, no, he's not acting something. He's, he's acting in action movies, which is telling us where he's acting, but it's not telling us who or what he is acting. So in this sentence, acts is an intransitive verb because there is no object after the verb. Basically, we could take this information away, Chuck Norris acts, and we still have a complete sentence. We don't need an object. Chuck Norris also does martial arts. So again, look at the verb, which is does, and our subject, Chuck Norris. So this verb does, is this transitive, intransitive, or linking? So look after the verb, martial arts. So Chuck Norris, he is the one doing. What is he doing? He's just doing, does. It's this the do verb. So Chuck Norris does. So does this information, martial arts, does it answer the question, what? What does Chuck Norris do? Chuck Norris does martial arts. So yeah, it does. It answers the question of what he is doing. So this is an object, which means that this is a transitive verb because there is an object. Chuck Norris was a martial arts champion. So look at the verb here. Is this transitive, intransitive, or linking? Now remember was is one of the forms of the be verb, and be is always a linking verb when it's the main verb in a sentence. So Chuck Norris was a martial arts champion. So a martial arts champion is the complement, and it is just describing Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris became an action star. So here's our verb became and our subject Chuck Norris. And if you remember back on the list of common linking verbs, became is one of our common linking verbs. So again, this is a linking sentence. Became is a linking verb. After he won martial arts competitions. So the verb here won and the subject he being Chuck Norris. So he won. Look at the information after the verb. Is it answering the question, who or what did he win? Or is it giving us some other information like where, when, why, or how? So Chuck Norris won. What did he win? He won martial arts competition. So yes, this information here answers the question, what? So this is the object of the verb, won. So because won has an object, this is a transitive verb. One time, Chuck Norris fought Bruce Lee in the movie The Way of the Dragon. So our verb here, fought, which is the past tense of fight. Our subject, Chuck Norris. Now the information here after the verb, does this tell us who or what Chuck Norris fought? Or does it tell us some other information like where, when, why, or how? So Chuck Norris fought. Who did he fight? He fought Bruce Lee. So yeah, that answers the question of who he fought. So this would be the object of fight, which means we have a transitive verb. Bruce Lee never fought in a martial arts tournament. So 
Well, here we're changing our subject to Bruce Lee. And our verb again is fought, same verb. So Bruce Lee, what did he do? He fought. Now look at this information after the verb fought. Is this telling us who or what? Or is it telling us some other information like when, where, why, or how? So which information is this in a martial arts tournament giving us? This information is giving us that. So this is not an object in a martial arts tournament. It's telling us where. Where did he never fight? He never fought in a tournament. So there's no object in the sentence, which means we could basically just delete this part and say Bruce Lee never fought. Now that's a little bit misleading. He did fight. He just didn't fight in a martial arts tournament. But in this sentence, there's no object. But we do have an action. So we have an action verb, but we have no object, which means that this is intransitive. The verb here, fought, is intransitive. So we can see fought can be transitive or it can be intransitive. It just depends on if there's an object or not. But the fight in the movie looked amazing. So my verb here is looked. And the subject is the fight in the movie. So the fight in the movie looked. Did it look at something? Or is the verb here looked describing the fight in the movie? So our information here is amazing. Amazing is describing the fight in the movie. So since the information after the verb is describing the subject, then that means that looked is a linking verb. Because it's just linking the complement and the subject together. In the movie, Chuck Norris lost the fight to Bruce Lee. So here's a little bit of a different sentence, and you'll see. So in the movie, we can just get rid of this information because it's extra. Let's focus on the subject and the verb here. So the subject, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, what did he do? He lost the fight. So this information here, the fight, is this telling us who or what he lost or is it telling us something else like when, where, why, or how? So Chuck Norris lost. What did he lose? He lost the fight. So yeah, it's telling us what he lost. So this is the object. So this verb lost is a transitive verb because we have an object, which is the fight. But look, we also have this information to Bruce Lee. So Chuck Norris, what did he, he lost? What did he lose? He lost the fight. Who did he lose the fight to? He lost it to Bruce Lee. So Bruce Lee in this sentence, to Bruce Lee, is actually another object. But this is what we call an indirect object. So both the fight and Bruce Lee are objects, but the fight is the direct object because it is directly receiving the action lost. Bruce Lee is what we call the indirect object. So the indirect object is the one who is receiving the direct object. So Chuck Norris is doing something. What is he doing? He lost. What did he lose? He lost the fight. That's the direct object. Now who did he lose the fight to? He lost it to Bruce Lee. So Bruce Lee is the indirect object. So you can think about, for example, uh, a sport like soccer. So if you say, um, Bob kicked the ball. So in that sentence, Bob is the subject and the verb is kicked. So Bob kicked. What did he kick? He kicked the ball. But if you say Bob kicked the ball to John, so what did Bob do? Bob kicked. What did he kick? He kicked the ball. So the ball is the direct object. Who did he kick it to? He kicked it to John. So John is the indirect object because he's not receiving the kick. He's receiving the ball, which is the object. 
So when you have a transitive verb in a sentence, you will have an object, a direct object. But sometimes we also have an indirect object. The indirect object is the one who receives the direct object. However, if they fought in real life. So if we go back here. So Chuck Norris fought Bruce Lee. We have a subject of the verb, which is Chuck Norris, and we have an object of the herb, wh verb, which is Bruce Lee. So Chuck Norris fought Bruce Lee. But if we look at this sentence, the subject is they, which is Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris together. The verb is fought. And if we look after the verb, we just say, see, in real life. We don't need that. So if they fought. So there is no object. We just have a subject and a verb, which means that this verb fought is intransitive. Chuck Norris would have won. Now this should be an easy one. Because if we look at the subject, Chuck Norris, the verb is would have won. And if we look after that, we see that there is no object. There's nothing. So there's no object, but would have won. This is an action verb. So we have an action verb, but we have no object. So an action verb plus no object equals intransitive. because Chuck Norris is a legend. And this should be another easy one because we have the verb is. And remember, is is one of those be verbs, so it's always a linking verb. Because it is linking the subject, Chuck Norris, to the information which comes after, which we call the complement. So the linking verb is linking the complement and the subject together to describe the subject. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.